And now some fresh, fresh pickings from the political grapevine. It is back to school time for one Wisconsin teacher, and parents are not too happy about it. Why? Because the teacher was fired for looking at pornographic material at school. The Wisconsin State Journal reports the local union waged a four-year court battle that concluded the dismissal of Andrew Harris was too harsh in comparison to the treatment of others also involved. The court has ordered reinstatement, albeit at a different school, and back pay amounting to nearly $200,000. Taxpayers are also stuck with nearly a million dollars in legal bills. The head of one lawyer's group says the school district could have dodged the court fight if it had implemented the new Wisconsin laws that lessened the powers of teachers' unions. Quote, they have staunchly opposed the very reforms that allow them to get out from under this. The superintendent says he understands the uncomfortable parents, but that the district ran out of legal options when the state Supreme Court refused to hear the case. Location is always an important detail. Fracking protesters in England locked and glued themselves to gas pumps to fight against a French-owned energy company, Total Petrol. The trouble was the company no longer owns the station where they protested. The Bolton News reports even the local Green Party, which was there peacefully protesting, wanted nothing to do with the four who were arrested, saying they caused danger to themselves and others. Security concerns, as we said, are with good reason getting many of the headlines in the build-up to the Olympics in Sochi, Russia next month. But this picture of two toilets in one stall is causing some laughs. One commenter joked that the stall must have the second toilet to make room for a Russian security officer. A Russian sports writer says communal toilets like these are common in Russian soccer stadiums.